Good morning. It's 11.23. I need some Midol. So, that explains my tiredness. Period. All right, now I'm gonna go back upstairs and I'm gonna put the hair stuff in my hair. All right, I am dressed in the warmth of a long sleeve sweatshirt. Jolly ball. Jolly ball. Oh, there's something on this shirt. Oh, it's a hole. Ooh What's up with that? What's up with that? The lace. Ooh What's up with that? What's up with that? Well, I'll be throwing this one out then. Okay. Shall we say multiple hot Purple and orange. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a, a choice I've made. Because I don't know where my brown. Toasty. Toasty! I don't know where my brown tank top went. So I can't really be fall. I guess purple and orange is more like Halloween. It is October, so. And I don't know where my black tank top is either. In any case, hi, good morning. It's still morning, right? No, I think it's afternoon now. All right, my shoes, they're downstairs. All right, I will be going. See you at the theater. Okay, so, um, people ask, what do you keep in your purse? Well, some people ask that, but anyways, um, or what is in here? Because they always ask, why is your purse so heavy? What do you got in here? Rocks? Well, I was just digging in my purse. I have a rock. But it is a cool rock. It's got these, like, neat patterns. And I think in the light, yeah, there's a little sparkle, like, right there. And some shiny here. Can you see it on the camera? I don't know. But I like the rock. Um, I don't know where I got this rock from. This rock in my purse. But yeah, in the little holes, there's like shiny. I can see it in the sun. Anyway, uh, when you ask a lady, you got rocks in your purse. They might. Okay, yesterday I was wondering if my neighbor here, well, she's not really my neighbor, but I was wondering if they would get their Halloween decorations up again. Hi, is this your house? Yeah. Okay. So like I was saying, oh, they just started yesterday. And this is what they got. Okay, I'm gonna start over here. Cause, oh my God, this, I just met the owner. I'm like, I gotta shake your hand. This is, this is the best house. They're starting to put up the little black drapey things on the windows. This, seriously, they put up the Christmas stuff too, but this is the best one. Okay, look at this. And they're, they're like, oh, we got new stuff. And I'm like, here, this is awesome. Look at the witch. <laughs> Can you? I cannot. This is the coolest house. <laughs> She's like, Etsy's got this stuff. I'm going to show you in a minute. Putting up these little, it's the details. I mean, she's like, I my flowers just bloomed. I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is the best. I mean, they put up new stuff almost every day, and she's like, I just don't have kids. I'm like, okay, I forgot her name. 
but this, oh, they got a dragon. Dragon. I don't know if that's part of the thing, but I don't even care. This thing, what's that remind me of? I forget what it reminds me of, but this is the best house. Seriously. The little, just the little details of all this stuff, the little mummy guy in the plants and whatever. Okay, so this is what she was talking about. The, she just put up the black drapey thing and she had to have a friend help with the skulls because they look like teeth. This is just their regular fence, but they look like teeth. Anyway, the pictures that she's got from Etsy or somewhere. <coughs> Look, I mean the little pig, the tiny little details, these are amazing. I love this house. And I wish I could remember her name because she's so cool. This is so cool. I'm going to come back every day and see what else they got. Alright, I gotta go. Alright, good e evening. What time is it? Turn TV on. TV, turn the car on. 3.52. That's right. All right, Dean. What do we think about that movie? It was sick. Sick? Messed up. Me. Messed up. Yeah. It was, I mean, in. it was good. It was good. I like the old one. You like the old one better? Yeah. Well, this one would be like a sequel I guess yeah. kind of yeah. so um they did bring back the mom that's scary hello pause now mind you all of this uh they brought back the mom from the original exorcist movie yeah. and the There's daughter right. shows up at the end spoiler yeah. Ooh. But, um, yeah, so Reagan, you remember Reagan? Yes, I remember, and the piano. And I don't remember the piano. She pees on the floor. I remember, she, yeah, she pees on the floor, yes. Yeah, and the original one. The I original, see. yep. Yeah. He threw a pea soup. That's what it looks like, yeah. Pea soup. Yeah. That's the movie. I liked it a lot, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, there you go. We liked it a lot, we enjoyed it. Yeah. You know, Daniel's wondering if they'll do a sequel. I don't think they would. I don't think they should, um, to be honest. Yeah. They just this leave it as is. is. Yeah. I think it's yeah. one and done. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Um, definitely recommend if you are the type that... I do like what I liked in it. It wasn't just the Christian faith that they portrayed through um, the exorcism. But they also did, I don't know what the other faith was. They didn't say it, or if they did, I didn't recognize it. But in any case, it was nice to see another representation of a different faith, because Christianity is not the only faith out there that does like exorcisms and stuff like that. So. Well, yeah, they exorcisms are real, they, <laughs> they've done them in the past. It's more documented in the Christ, the, the uh, Catholic churches and stuff like that yeah. but um all faiths as far as i know do exorcisms or something of it something mm -hmm. like it so yeah it's definitely real most of the time though the exorcism that they're doing is because they don't understand the um mental health you know and maybe the person was having a seizure so way back when when they didn't know what seizures were they would they would think that that person's possessed oh yeah so they would try and do an exorcism and then once the seizure seizure is done they're just like oh praise god or whatever but anyways uh yeah so yeah exorcisms were are a real thing they have happened but oh, okay. i'm just again i like that they they uh portrayed more than one faith because there is definitely more than one faith in this messed up world we lived in. We live in. Say, Ouija boards and that would be that odd wheel. Yeah, you know, it's everybody believes something. And just because your belief is one thing doesn't make I'm someone say, else's not belief wrong. Huh? Ouija boards, not real. Well, yeah, believe what you know, Ouija boards. Uh, are a, a, a pagan religion.
religion thing, pagan belief, I don't know, whatever you want to put it in. Either way, the sun has come out today. Today the sun came out. Here's the sun. We enjoy the exorcist believe. Believe? I think it was called the exorcist believe. Hello. So yeah. Um, I can't see my... Oh, Daniel missed his mouth. You missed your mouth? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it happened to me while I was sitting in the theater. Yeah. You coughed a lot, okay? I coughed a lot. Yeah, I have a cough. Do you know it's um, not going away for some reason? So maybe when I'm at, I think I'll get some Robitussin or something. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we'll get to Walmart. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Remember, I told you they weren't done. Look, they got these up now. How awesome. Pumpkin head and skeleton head guy. So cool. Hello, kitty kitty. Look at your face. You're so messy. You're so dirty. Big purrs. You sit on my leg, stand on my leg. Sometimes you do that. So, no thanks. You got this right here. No thanks. Oh, I got it. Look at that. Look at that. That's your fur. Yeah. Get your motor running. Get out on the highway. You're, bless you, vacant expressions. Hello, hello, hello. It's, I don't know what time it is. Alexa, what time is it? It's 5.23 p.m. Good evening. 5.23. So I'm probably like four hours. We'll be heading out to um, the Crucible for the evening. I took some Robitussin, so hopefully that... I should have got some uh, Mucinex. Didn't think about that. Anyway, I will need to shave. My beard is... Oh, I hate these hairs. They don't go away. Pluck and pluck and shave and pluck and pluck and shave. Use the laser thing. They don't go away. Laser hair removal? It's not hair removal. Anyways, I guess I'll watch some TV or something. We see this here. This has been sitting in uh, the uh, pan for three days? Four days, maybe. Dawn Platinum, whatever it's called. Dawn Power Wash. Plant and power wash. Yeah, get a good soak. We'll just let that soak for a minute. From over here, I sprayed this one down with the Dawn Plant. And that was the grilled cheese mess. We're just gonna clean that out. That's that one. Scrape a little. It's a cast iron, um, but we don't use it very much. So we don't ever, so it's not seasoned or whatever. Okay, so now we just wipe this one out. It says spray wipe rinse, we'll see. Let's we wipe with a regular dishcloth. Definitely didn't work. Just wipe, no. We'll have to use a little scrubby power. Okay, this has to soak. It's definitely been sitting too long for Dawn Power Wash to work on it. So. Soak in hot water, it shall. <laughs> I have so many, so much, my cramps. I took some more Midol. And I am so exhausted. I feel really bad because 
I was planning to go to the Crucible. I'm planning to go to the Crucible with Russ, but I don't think I can make it. If I do go, I'm not going to last very long. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.37 p.m. It's 8.37, so we'd leave in like a half an hour. We live five minutes from Crucible. Um, anyway, I don't, I don't know. Now I have a headache thinking about it. I'm going to ask Russ what he thinks. He's going to be like, well, whatever you feel. But maybe he'll say, maybe he'll have an opinion. I don't know. I don't want to be a bummer to him. If I go, I'm going to be a bummer. If I stay, I'm a bummer. So either way, I'm a bummer. So, uh, have you ever seen Spaceballs? I am watching it. I've never actually read the little starting, you know, this word scrolling or whatever. I've never watched that, read it, because I'm a slow reader. And also, I mean, my vision doesn't help. It doesn't help to be half blind to both eyes to read. It hurts my brain, it hurts my head, whatever. Anyway. In a galaxy very, 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 very far away, there lived a ruthless race of beings known as Space Balls. Chapter 11 The evil leaders of planet Spaceball have foolishly squandered their precious Your drawing is done. atmosphere have devised a secret plan to take every breath of air away from their peace-loving neighbor, planet Druidia. I remember that with the vacuum. Yeah. Today is Princess Vespa's wedding day. Unbeknownst to the princess, but knownst to us, danger lurks in the stars above. If you've never seen Spaceballs, if you like Star Wars, this is Star Wars spoof. Um, if you're not, if you don't like Star Wars, if you can read this, you don't need glasses. <laughs> I'm wearing glasses, thank you. Um, it's just funny. So, also, Mal Brooks is a genius. He's the one who basically wrote this and everything. And he plays uh, Yogurt, which is a spoof on Yoda. Anyways, Spaceballs, gonna watch Spaceballs. I also forgot that he plays President Screw. Uh, Mal Brooks plays President Screw. Um, I'm wondering how many jokes that I, because you rewatch them when, as you're, okay, so do you remember the green bar? Have we, like, was there always a green bar? I don't know why there's a green bar. <coughs> Could have been a screen editing thing. I don't know what that was. Okay, anyways, um, zero things to add. Except this. Spaceballs is funny. <coughs> oh, fuck. Hmm. I'm glad I didn't go. I'm tired already. I know, I'd be a super big bummer. Would have just got there and Russ would be like, we just got our drinks and I'm just now dancing and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, happy Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Uh, this is my day off. I might do an art tomorrow. I'm not sure. Any case, have a good night and enjoy the rest of your weekend. 
Uh, welcome to new subscribers. See you Monday. Toodles. I need